Hey guys, Lieutenant Curious here today. I am here with Season 2, Episode 12 of the Sereno Mini Mock series. So as you can see, Spade and the leader of the terrorists have arrived at the headquarters. So here it is. Sorry for the awful lighting. So, first I will get into what happened in the last episode. So, in the last episode, which was episode 11, the clones that were helping reinforce Trantos and Dez to help get Spade back were attacking the terrorists and actually took out two of the terrorists that were with the leader. And now the leader successfully got Spade back to the headquarters, as I already showed you guys. And you can already see a bunch of the terrorists. And if you check out my Instagram and follow my Instagram, I have a lot of updates. So be sure to do that. It's very nice if you want to know all the things I do in my many mocks instead of just watching the commentary videos. So in that picture, it shows all the different terrorists, a bunch of different species, and I will show those as they are in this, but let's get right into it. Alrighty, so first off, we have this terrain here, which is this concrete, over, it's very overgrown with some stem grass, olive green leaves, so look at my battle pack pieces, what Clem Production Studios and I like to call it. And these dark green vine pieces, which is my favorite piece right now. And also, as you can see back here, I'll focus on it, is what I like to call the weed pieces. So I'm using a lot of those in the overgrowth. And I use a lot of cheese slopes, studs, tiles, um, grill pieces all sorts of different pieces to add detail. So, and this was also the terrain in the, the main terrain in the last episode as they were getting close to the abandoned city where the headquarters, which is this episode, is where the headquarters is located. And now we'll get to this pathway, which is actually the same type of pathway as the last episode with dark tan, and some cheese slopes, studs, and a lot of dark tan detailing with some turned one by ones, some grill pieces here and there, and as you can see, this is where the terrorist leader and Spade are walking down to get into the headquarters. And this is the other side of the terrain, a nice close view of it at least. All right, so now I'm gonna get into what the terrorists are doing. Okay, so first, this is an Umbaran who is one of the terrorists, and Umbarans always wear their armor, which is very high tech, and he is actually carrying a flamethrower from Clone Army Customs, and is burning the bodies of two civilians and a clone trooper that had already been killed by the terrorists. And I'll show you the civilians that are already dead real quick and getting burned. It's kind of sad. Uh, so one of the civilians is the same species as Coleman Trepper from episode two, one of the Jedi. And it's actually his minifigure head on a rebel body that I just made a civilian. And then the other one is just a human with blonde hair and, uh, and a 501st trooper in the center with a bunch of flames and trans orange cheese slopes around it to add some nice fire detail. And over here, we have two terrorists getting or making a pile of droid parts to dispose of them because the terrorists are not very friendly to anyone 
not the civilians on the planet, not the government, which is the Confederacy, which means they will basically destroy all droids in their path. And over here, we have my favorite terrorist because of his hair. Um, he looks pretty sweet. He has a Clone Army Customs weapon. It's a pistol. And he is holding it up to this 501st trooper and is about to shoot him. So another pretty sad scene. Um, and as you can see, we have some pillars here to hold up the roof. I didn't make walls just because it's an abandoned city and a lot of the stuff is falling apart. And as I will show more of the building, you will see that a lot of it is just falling apart and kind of abandoned. But, I mean, the terrorists aren't going to take care of it because they're kind of horrible people. Now we will get into the headquarters. All right, so first I will show you guys up top. This roof is not, which means studs not on top. So I built the roof with bricks mostly coming this way and then attached it to the pillars. And you can see a lot of detailing on the top as it is just abandoned, kind of worn out. And there is this kind of tent thing here just for maybe rain purposes because there's a giant hole right there, which is actually how they get up. They climb up the rock structure in the center of the, right down here. And that's how they, they climb up there and come to the top and this Rodian terrorist with disguised 212th clone armor is just standing up here and looking at the arrival of Spade and the terrorist leader. And we also have a crate up here with another Clone Army Customs weapon, which is a mortar. So they have a lot of heavy weapons, as you can see. So they are quite deadly. All right, so now I will get into the bottom, the main layer of the headquarters. All right, so as you can see, I used a lot of one by four dark blay tiles and what i mean by blay is bluish gray because it's not actually dark gray it is bluish gray and i shorten it to say blay so i have a bunch of one by four tiles all along the inside and i have some dark tan as just as it as it is dirty and then i also have some studs some grill pieces cheese slopes and then I have a crate right here with a weapon in it. And then of course the rock structure that is kind of holding up the center of the building, if you think about it. And as you can see, my favorite terrace is to the left right here. So now I will show the other side. So right here is a civilian that currently has some binders on his arms and is just sitting up near one of the pillars. And as you can see, there's a chain holding up this pillar that runs all the way over there. And there is another terrorist right here grabbing a weapon. Sorry for the bad lighting. And that is a Duro that has a brown backpack. And if you guys would like me to, just comment in the comment section below. If you want me to post like descriptions on my Instagram for each terrorist and say like, and I can say how I built each one. And yeah, I can do that for you guys. And be sure, like I already said, to check out my Instagram. It's definitely a cool thing to see something besides just my videos. All right. And the link to my Instagram is in the description below. All right, so now I will get to letting you guys go. All right, so that's about it for season two, episode 12 of the Sereno Mini Mock series. So be sure to leave a like on the video to help me out and smack that subscribe button at the end of the video to see some more LEGO Star Wars content. 
Uh, I greatly appreciate all your support. Also, stay tuned for another Novalug live stream this Friday. They are always on Fridays, so stay tuned for that. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.